I'm now ready to start adding columns to the project. Revit has two different types of columns, columns and structural columns. Columns, or architectural columns as they should probably be called, are used to model column box outs around steel column sections, or they can be used for decorative applications. I want to use structural columns. These are the actual load-bearing vertical elements that hold up the building. If I go to the structure tab, I can see the column tool in the structure panel. If I select the tool, you can see that there's a column section floating underneath my cursor, and every time I click, I'll place a column. Before I get too carried away, we need to think about what's going on in 3D. By default, columns go down from their placement level, but I can control what's happening by checking out the options in the green bar underneath the ribbon toolbar. I have two options here, depth and height. If I choose depth, the columns go down. If I choose height, the columns go up. I'm going to choose height. The next box over allows me to choose the actual height of my columns. I can either put a number in here to specify an unconnected height for my column, or I can choose to connect the top of the column to one of my other levels. I'm going to choose to connect the top of the column to level 1. It's much better to do this than to manually specify the height, as it means that the column top will go up and down as the level heights get changed. If I want to place a different type of column, I can change the column type from the type selector at the top of the properties palette. If we don't have the desired column family in the list, we can load a new one into our project by choosing load family or we could duplicate an existing column type and modify it to suit our needs. Columns are component families, and Revit ships with family files which contain all of the standard off-the-shelf section sizes that you're likely to need for rolled steel sections. It also comes with some fairly standard concrete sections. If you choose Load Family, Revit should automatically direct you to the content library where you can find a lot of useful families. If I scroll down to the structural columns section, remember not columns but structural columns, you can see that the columns are split up by material. For the concrete option, there's a different family for each shape, rectangular, round, square, etc. In the steel folder, there are families for each of the different rolled steel profiles. Rolled steel joists, wide flung columns, inside the British standards folder is all of the UK specific sections, like universal beams and columns. What you see in here will be dependent on the geographic settings that you chose when you installed Revit. For now, we're going to stick with the columns that we already have loaded into the project, so I'm going to press Cancel. You can change the family of a column after it's been created. Just select the column and choose a different family or type from the type selector. When looking at the list of available columns, it's good to remember our family hierarchy. The family category is structural columns and their component families. Within the structural columns category, I have different families, such as concrete rectangular and universal beam. And within each of these families, I have different types. I have 450 by 600 rectangular concrete column, and I have a 600 by 750 rectangular concrete column. 